Do you want to get access to brand new features for your GoPro before they appear on the next camera? Well, then you want to check out GoPro Labs. A simple download lets you use QR codes to add a load of new features to your GoPro. You can even make your own codes to make your filmmaking experience a whole lot easier. Setting up GoPro Labs on your camera is super easy. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. All right, so to start the whole process off with uh, downloading GoPro Labs, we have to go to this website here uh, and we're going to, I'm going to put the address at the bottom of the screen. We're just going to start on the uh, by clicking on the box here where it says try it now. So we're going to click on that one. Now this one's going to bring up a new screen and this screen is uh, gopro.github.io is the address and it's where it has all the firmware for all the versions of GoPro, which you can use uh, GoPro Labs on. So you find the action camera, which you are using for, so for me today, I'm gonna to be using the GoPro Hero 11 Black. So we're gonna tap on that. Sorry, it's gonna download a file. Up here in the top right hand corner, you can see here on my Mac, it's showing uh, that the file is downloading to my downloads folder. So there's our downloads folder. That's the file that we just downloaded before, labs underscore hero underscore two underscore 10 underscore 70. Extract that. See, we're extracting it now. All right, so the folder that we've, uh, we're looking for is called update. But what we need to do now is put our micro SD card into a card reader and attach it to um, our laptop. Now, I wanna copy this update folder here. So I'm just gonna go copy. And then I'm gonna go into my GoPro folder here. And I want to put the update folder in this root menu. Okay, so nowhere else, just here in the root menu. So I'm just gonna paste that item. A couple of seconds. There you go, and you can see here on my uh, micro SD card, update is listed down the bottom and we can expand it. And there's those files that we've uh, downloaded from the GoPro website. So what we do right now is we need to eject our SD card and then, we, then we're gonna put that SD card into the GoPro. All right, so we just put the uh, micro SD card uh, into the GoPro, GoPro switched off. Now we're gonna turn the GoPro on, like so. So what's gonna happen right now, the screen, as you can see, it's going to be uh, making a few little funny kind of movements there. You can see it's got the little um, a cog spinning. Oh, there you go. So it's just beeped. Now it says update complete already. Okay, so that tells us that all the, um, oh, there it goes again, beeping again. Now it says uh, GoPro Labs uh, beta message has just appeared. So with that simple message, that is telling us that we now have GoPro Labs firmware uh, updated to our GoPro Hero. All right, so once you've uh, quickly and easily downloaded the firmware for GoPro Labs onto your GoPro, you want to return to this page here, gopro.github.io, and you want to scoot down to where it says Labs Camera Control. Click on where it says Basic Camera Settings. So you can actually click on this one here. And what this does, it brings you up to a GoPro QR code creator. So once you're in this screen here, at the top we have the different modes here, uh, video, endurance, stationary. We're gonna keep it on video, and then you choose what sort of preset you'd like. I like cinematic. And then you can choose your video modes here as well. And if you choose one of these modes, like say we choose time warp, it's gonna present some different uh, options or it's gonna remove some options, depending on what you select. So I'm just gonna put it back to just, uh, just cinematic, just normal. Okay, and now also has your other modes here you can use too. Uh, some of the new ones from GoPro's Hero 11 Black and 11 black mini like star trails light painting and vehicle light so you go through all these different options you choose which ones uh, suit you the best you can even adjust the zoom this is a really awesome function here this is something that you can't really do too much of when it comes to uh, GoPro but here we can adjust the zoom you can even go into pro tunes which is pretty exciting so we can click on this one here and then you have another whole beautiful bunch of options to go through and the same with some other options here we have too. We have like camera preferences. You can see there's a whole ton of stuff there. You can set date and time automatically. And this is delayed options too. So you can choose to 
shut down and capture. Um, this is good for things like maybe capturing um, sunrises, sunsets, that kind of thing. So all these different options are at your fingertips now. By putting in your um, selections, you create your own unique QR code. There's a QR code, and if you want to, you can copy the image to the clipboard uh, for later use, or you can even share this code too with a friend or a family member who might want to um, use those settings. Okay, so on the screen right now, we have the QR code that we have just uh, created. And now we've turned our GoPro on, and all we need to do is hold the GoPro in front of the QR code and you can see straight away it's beeped and it's actually uh, captured those settings. So if we have a quick look right now at the back of the camera, you'll see that it has the exact settings that I, uh, I've just input there. Cinematic 4K, 60 frames per second and linear lens. If I just go back and just tweak it a little bit, I go, you know what? I wanna do something a little bit different. I wanna change maybe the, uh, say 2.7K. Right, 2.7K, and we'll do it at 120 frames per second. QR code is changed again. I bring the uh, GoPro over the code, and you'll see straight away, it gives me a beep to tell me it's all done. And if we zoom in on the camera, you can see it's actually changed to 2.7K and 120 frames per second. Now, what we're also going to show you right here, right now, is where it says down the bottom here, it has uh, more features for labs enabled cameras. So we're going to click on that one there. So what that one does, it brings up a new screen called QR control at the top. And it also shows you down here, capture triggers. Now, these are some of the awesome, awesome features that you can uh, do quite easily and quite quickly. You can put them onto your camera. So we've got uh, these camera triggers like motion detection, uh, GPS speed trigger, power trigger, and lots of other awesome, awesome stuff that we're going to explore. Let's uh, check out the first one here. And the first one is motion detection. So if we click on that one there, it's going to bring up a new page and it's going to show you the settings uh, that's already created here for uh, motion capture. This is great, say, if you want to film, um, say, out in, uh, in the wild, for example, or maybe you just want to film your dog in the backyard and you want the camera to fire up uh, when there's movement in front of the lens. So here's all the settings that have been set up uh, for custom motion capture. And there is a QR code. It's on the screen there already. And all we need to do is uh, put that QR code onto our action camera. Okay, so you've gone to the App Store or the Play Store and you've downloaded QR control. Just want to tap on it to open it. Now it's gonna bring up this screen here which is uh, the home screen and on it it's gonna start off with the screen here where it says camera mode. Now this is a third party app. Uh, it's not uh, a GoPro product but it is something that works fantastically well with uh, GoPro Hero cameras. And it's fantastic for creating your own unique uh, QR codes just like we did before uh, on the laptop but this time we're just doing it on mobile. So what happens right now is we've got camera mode so you go up here and from the drop down you can choose uh, what option you'd like to uh, set it for. So I'm just going to choose video. And now this here is all the different kind of presets we can use. So we can tap over here and this is your normal standard presets you have in the video mode uh, for the GoPro. So I'm gonna choose cinematic. Now your resolution, here is all your different options. I'm gonna choose 4K and frames per second. This time I'm gonna choose uh, 24 frames per second. It gives you an option with the lens. I'm gonna choose wide lens and Zoom, now this is a fantastic feature like we had on the uh, PC and the, um, the, uh, the laptop version, how you can choose uh, the zoom option here. So up to 100 times zoom, which is pretty impressive. I'm just gonna stick with normal. And then EIS is your electronic image stabilization. So that's things like uh, hyper smooth primarily. So you have your options here, standard, high boost, or auto boost. I'm gonna go with auto boost today. You got a few other options here as well. Uh, your limit, you got hindsight, spot meter. Not really gonna use that one today. This will be classed as your preset. So to make it easy for you to find, you can call it something. So I'm just gonna call it, when you're happy with all the commands there, um, you can go down here and you can save it, save it to your, to your, your phone, your mobile phone. So you're always gonna have it when you're out 
and about. Now, it's not just camera modes you can play around with. You can go in here into Pro Tunes as well. Once you're happy with what you've got there, all you need to do is, like I said, you can save the details when you save it. In the case of my Samsung phone, it's actually gonna save that to my gallery. So it's always there uh, on, my, on my phone along with uh, my other photos and videos I've taken. So that makes it super easy. If you want to stay ahead of the game, you really got to get onto GoPro Labs. As you can see, super easy to set up and all those awesome features. Man, you can really lift your video game by using this awesome, awesome free GoPro tool. If you want to learn more about the GoPro Hero and the amazing things that this little camera can do, then click on the video over here right now. Thanks for your company. I'll see you in the next video.